Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining me. My name's Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time when we can relax and craft together. And I typically work on projects from beginning to end so you can be part of the entire process with me here. So I'm going to jump back in time and work on an earlier block for the Splendid Sampler 2. I'm going to work on our block 15 cat nap right here. So we're going to be doing some embroidery today. We have a little bit of a start. We have the whole guy traced and we're just going to do some stitching today. Uh, just nice and chill, some casual stitching around. Uh, and that is the plan for tonight. So thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I am going to flip you around and we'll get going here. Oh, there's there's our guy from uh, well, last week. And now to our little itty bitty kitty cat. I thought it's time to start trying to get some of these unfinished unfinished uh, guys completed. So let's see, we left off. Here's the picture here. It's a running stitch for uh, these shapes here and all the lines. And then we have these little plus signs. We'll do all those first and then we'll come back and do this kitty. I don't, I, I picked out these colors. <laughs> Uh, but I don't remember what we were using for what, so we're going to have to uh, play around with it again. I have a hunch that this was my background stitches because I'm doing it on just white and I, I think I wanted it to be kind of subtle. So I think this may have been um, may have been this dotted line, so I think we'll get to that today maybe. And then I have these other colors. <laughs> One of these must have been, maybe this was... Uh, these pluses and then maybe I did this brown for for the key. I think that's probably what what we're doing here so all right I think that was the plan and then we also have these cute little fabric pieces and I'll show you what mine are for that so those are ready to go but I'm waiting till the embroidery is done before uh, before I get them on they're done with that that fusible web steam a seam. So this one will go there. I believe this guy is up here. And then these will get a, these would uh, get a blanket stitch. Yeah, it's it's Chad the kitty. My parents kitty Chad. And Chad's actually a, kind of like a black and white tiger kitty, but he's got just a little bit of brown in him. And I think I think that's why I, I use this. He's got just a hint in a couple little places of a little warmer brown color. So I think that that was the plan. And then this was gonna be the background just so it was a light, light deal. I think, I think we got it. I think that's how it went. And I already know this is pink cause we started it already. Ah, I think we're on the right track here, but oh, it's gonna be so sweet with these little guys on, I think. But we don't need those for a while. We will be stitching here. Yeah, this guy's gonna be so sweet, I think. All right, so we've already gone all the way around here. Uh, we have this little circle to do yet, and then these lines here as well. I think we'll start up the lines first. You can do a little running stitch. With a running stitch, you can go in and out. You can just kind of wiggle a little and uh, go through a bunch of stitches all at once. There we go. And I'm using two strands like it has in the instructions, two strands of thread for this. So that went all the way to the top. I'm, I'm going to get all the way back down. So I'm going to just kind of weave in between some of these stitches so I don't have a, like a huge jump. Ooh, wow. I'm fumbly today. This will be interesting. Ugh, I just put um, some lotion on my hands. It has been ugh, just so dry. Like my lips are killing me and uh, I just got to drink tea and water, I think. 
Oh, Don, it was nice. So on Friday, my husband and I went to the MCAT art sale. So that's uh, um, the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. That's where we both went to school. That's, um, oh, Wiggly in the middle. That's what we're doing here now. <laughs> uh, but they do an art show every November and it's, it's students and it, students' artwork and then recent grads. And uh, we used to go a lot. I think the first year they did it was when I was still in school there. And uh, um, it's fun to go. And it, actually now they have like a couple days for it. So uh, it used to be just like the one day and it was free. Now they realize that, oh, this thing's popular. So let's try and make some money on it. It, it goes to the it mostly goes to the the students. So like when any anything gets sold, I think the students get 80%, which is way above what, you know, a normal gallery would take or a normal store would take. Uh, they would usually take like 50%. So it's a really good deal for students and they get a chance to sell their artwork and get it shown at the, you know, in the fun galleries at the at the school. And it's a neat way to see like neat new art and everything. So uh, they, like I said, the the school found out they could make money on it. So now they have uh, fancy days. So like the first day, it's like a hundred twenty dollar ticket or something to get in. Um, and you know that's all. It goes to scholarships and everything still. So it's all, you know, for the students. But then they have a second day, which is Friday, which is what we went to, where they have like $25 tickets. And my husband uh, spoke at a, uh, I think a little classroom thing there a few weeks ago and they gave him some tickets, which was awesome. So we got to we gotta go to one of the pre-show days. Usually we only go to the, the free day on, on Saturday and we haven't gone for a couple of years. So it was nice. It was nice to go before everything was picked over. <laughs> so we actually did walk away with a painting. Um, we don't have it here yet, though, uh, because it was too big to fit in our car. So we bought like this huge painting. Uh, so I don't know. We're kind of not sure where we're going to put it or anything. I think I'm just uh, I kind of caught the stitch in here, but. Um, so I don't, I can't show you guys yet, but uh, I'm hoping it comes, like we go get it soon or whatever. And we decided that, you know, hopefully we stick to this, that we should just, um, for our birthdays and Christmas, we should just not get anything for each other and uh, just decide, like, we'll buy like one piece of art a year or something. And that will be both of our birthdays and Christmas present. I think, I think that's kind of our new thinking because we love finding fun things that we like art wise. And uh, it's always way better than all the like stupid stuff we get for each other um, through the year. It's not stupid stuff, but you know, it's not like we saved up special for like a piece of artwork or something. So I think that is our new plan and, and we're pretty excited about it. So it was a lot of fun and we had pizza after. It was a good evening, except for that it has been so dry and uh, that pizza was so salty that, and it was amazingly delicious, but we're not used to that much salt. And so I think we, we were both just woke up in the middle of the night just dry. Yeah, exactly. We can get something that we treasure and it's something that we both look at. And you know, that's, you know, I always, we always kind of said, or I did that, like, if I ever have like a bajillion dollars, what I want to do is just like buy art from, you know, people I knew in college and, uh, you know, new artists and that sort of thing. I just thought that would be just so cool. Just line the walls with, with art and, you know, if you just, if you save up for that and you just do it for the, um, for the year and that's like the plan, then, you know, it's kind of built into 
built into the system. I don't know. I like it. I've heard of a couple of other people doing that before, and I'm like, you know what? That's just kind of neat. So I'm hoping we can stick to it. <laughs> you know, no surprise little gifts like, oh, I got you a birthday present anyway, sort of thing. No, I think we just start... I mean, we have a list of list of artists that we would love to get something for, but it always just seemed, you know, such an extravagance. But if we know, okay, this is the thing that we do. It's our one gift to each other every single year. I think that's just, I just kind of like that idea. Yeah, I just feel like I need that Bonnie all over my hands. I did put some actual oil stuff on my hands and that seems to help a lot, but oh man. Just more and more, and it just got chilly again. Like it was, it didn't get past like 25 or something degrees today. It was just, ugh. it barely started and I'm kind of over it already. All right, but yeah, we're a little sniffly. We've been cleaning a lot and stuff too, so I think we're just dredging up dust. I think I'm gonna try and do these back stitches or, or these um, lines here now. First of all, I think they'll will feel like we get got a ton done right away. And it'll help me, I think, with these. I'll have, I can like weave back and forth in the back of, of the stitches. So I think it'll be good. You know, it looks like it, the lines go from all the way top to bottom, but they actually don't. I think they stop right here because this is blanket stitched. So I'm not going to stitch all the way from here to there. I'm just going to kind of go like stitch... I don't know, to here, and I'll try and get these lines in, and then keep going. I don't know. We're going to try and make a little path here, see? That's not going to quite work. I'm going to have to stop and... I don't know how that's going to work. How do I get over here? Maybe I should do these first. I think I'm going to... I'll do these first, and then we'll do those lines. Okay, so these were that gold color, and it's still two strands of floss. I did put all the little pluses in here, so I knew where they'd go. So that should help. All right, we got to get two strands of floss out of here. So I'm going to cut like my 24 inch piece. I need a scissors so right here. <laughs> yes, it's not ex an extravagance. It's an investment. I mean, I just feel like when you buy art, it is a reflection on how you're feeling in that moment. So it's a history. That's kind of how I feel about tattoos too, actually. It's, it's a history of where you were in time at a, at a particular moment. And so whenever, and you might not know, no one else might not know looking at the painting or whatever, what that moment was for you, but, um, you know, it's, it's personal or whatever. So there was, there was just one painting there that I think um, we both really liked right away. And uh, it kind of felt like I was saying to John, it, it's just, this painting is how I feel like right now. Like we're trying to work on some fun stuff that I'm hopefully going to be able to share with you guys soon. Um, a big project here. And it's been a lot of work and it's been stressful but exciting. And, uh, you know, so this kind of painting kind of, kind of um, felt like that to us, even though I think anyone else would not get that at all out of it. Um, but that's kind of the fun of it. So anyway, so we ended up getting it. It was actually priced like way lower than I thought it was going to be, which, you know, is kind of the fun thing about the art sale too. Um, you know, you're getting new artists kind of you know, before some of them might be discovered. So like before they start charging, you know, $20,000 for paintings or whatever, you can get it for like a couple hundred dollars, which is nice. Um, so anyway, I like it. It's just a, a snapshot, like you, like you said, a snapshot of the, of the moment. Except for we are going to have an issue that I think it's so big, you know, when it's up on the wall, of a big giant gallery. It looks teeny tiny, but I think it's a lot bigger. Like we looked it up online on her website afterwards. And we think it's a little bit bigger than we thought, but we'll see. We're gonna, I think, try and get it home tomorrow or something. We'll see. Anyway, 
I'll try and show you guys, show you guys then. So here's how you guys do the, the pluses. We can just go weave all the way to one side and then the other side, and then we'll come back and do the up and down bits here. Oh, you like watercolors? That's awesome. Yeah, I've been, when, when we go look at, um, getting stuff now, like we used to buy a lot of smaller, like illustration things, but now I just really like looking at paintings and stuff. Like ever since I took that painting class, like I just am just so into like seeing people's paintings and everything. So, um, I don't know. That's what I've been into lately. It was fun. It was a really nice evening. I like that you can just get a ton of stitches all at once here. Makes it easy. I know Home Depot rents trucks. I think the school's gonna bring it over. It, it's pretty close to us, so I think I think they might bring it over. We just have to set it up, set up a time. This is relaxing right now, doing some of the stitching. Oh, just to let you guys know, I think I will only be on this week, today and tomorrow, because it's going to be Thanksgiving soon, and uh, I think we will be going home to see family. I think my mom's on here. So, mom, we're coming home. <laughs> it's also my dad's. My dad's birthday too on, on Thanksgiving, so that'll be fun. Oh, you got, you like glass, art glass. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Good, mom's listening. <laughs> I thought I saw her pop on here. Yeah, there was some neat sculpture stuff at, at the MCAT art show when we were there um, on Friday as well. That's something once I, you know, if we ever have more space, I mean, we, we live in a super teeny tiny house here. Um, and just the idea of buying, like getting sculpture stuff, <laughs> we really would have no where to put it, at least with like a painting, it's flat against a wall. <laughs> so it's not taking up too much space. Uh, but yeah, I was just looking through a magazine and it had like these sculptures in and I'm like, oh my God, that is like a four foot space that I could use for something else. <laughs> I figured uh, my sewing machines, those are, those are sculptures, right? Someone needs to make the cranberry sauce. You're right, Gretchen. And I, we make like real life cranberry sauce. So we do the real cranberries and you got to cook them in like the orange juice and you got to keep stirring them. And then they all make the popping noises, all the, all of the cranberries. Oh, yum. I like those. Trying to, I'm thinking this through. I think since I'm all the way on this side, I might just start going up and down, um, even though I'm not done with some of these parts, but I'm all the way to the right. I think it might be easier to just start doing the up and down bits. I know, I gotta save all the old sewing machines, the poor little machines that people are getting rid of. One day, that'll be like a, a work of art for sure. I, you know, you know how sometimes if you want to make like a statement with some of the items you have in your home, you can group them together. Uh, then they make more of a statement all together. That's what I want to do with the sewing machines sometime. Like sometime when there's just a space, <laughs> some, some space that needs to be filled <laughs> with something visual. Um, I'll put all the sewing machines out ready to go all in one spot. And then, um, you know, I want them to be usable in that spot too. That'll be a sculpture, right? Usable sculpture. 
Oh, you got a four by five foot picture at a sale. I had to put it in our bath laundry room. Don, Don, that is kind of the situation we're going to be in with this painting. There is, I think, one spot. Gosh, we're hoping it can go over the couch in the living room, but I don't think, I think it's too big for there. It's just stupid big. And we just weren't thinking, but that's okay. It's fun. It's part of the fun of it all. Um, so I think it'll be going in my husband's uh, we have two little small bedrooms on the first story that we kind of use as our office space. And uh, uh, so we each have one, like a little office space across the hall. And uh, I think in John's room, I think that's literally the only wall that it will work on. Because all of our other walls, you know, have like a window or something. So <laughs> there is just this single space where it's going to work. You saw a lady do free motion quilting. She used, oh, a slick Mac on her machine. Oh, so to move. Yeah, I've seen those. I have not used one of those before, though. What are they called? They're called, um, they're like a little super glider or something, something like that, where you can put on your, your sewing surface and it makes it a little slippy, slipperier. This is looking cute. I like how the pluses are just kind of revealed after you keep going, <laughs> ceilings are optional. I know, we would never, I mean, you know, maybe we would do that someday, but we're, that definitely not as a serious um, option, but it came up as like, yeah, there's ceiling space. <laughs> there's actually one more space that it could go, but it would involve moving a bunch of stuff. And ugh. so the easiest spot would be, um, on the wall in my husband's office and it would actually look nice there and every easy glide that's what it is um it would look nice there and everything but ideally we'd love it in the living room here we have a whole blank wall but i just think it's too big so when we when it comes in we'll have to uh we'll have to find out we'll have to hold it up there before and but if math works and measurements work then, <laughs> then i don't think it's gonna fit and it's going to look massive, but I think in a good way. I think it'll actually look better in uh, John's office because it will um, it will fit the space better size-wise. All right, I am just about out of thread. I don't think I have enough to get down in this space. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to just weave in the back. Look on the back. It's just like these cute little pluses. That's sweet. I'm just going to kind of... I don't know, I guess right there. Weave, weave this thread back and forth a few times. And I'll do that with, with this guy over here too while I'm at it. Oh, I won't bump Mr. Hedgie out of the way here. This painting is, would not fit on this wall. <laughs> We did a thing. That's that's what we see it as. <laughs> but like I said, we are really happy with it, and it it's definitely like something we want to keep doing. And you know, you feel like you're supporting artists, and you know, someone sat and painted that. That's someone's like everything right there that they're putting out putting out in the world. just fun. It was fun walking around and seeing everything. There was one other, one other of hers that we really liked. Uh, and we toyed with the idea of going back and seeing if it was still there, but we couldn't have another huge painting. <laughs> We bought another painting from there. I don't know if you guys remember that that um, kind of, it's that teal green painting. It's sitting on our mantle. Um, that one was from there several years ago. Oh gosh, maybe like eight years ago or so. Maybe not that much, but maybe, I don't know. But we got that from the MCAT art sale too. And that, that again, it like seals a moment in time for, for me. Like it represents 
like it just feels it, it has like an emotion for me like when I when I look at it like it feels um just good looking at it and and I think that's how this other one's going to feel too so I'm I'm stoked If every single wall in our house is crammed with art at some point uh, and there's no empty space on the wall anymore, I think I'd be okay with that. <laughs> uh, as long as there's no other clutter. Get rid of every single piece of clutter and make everything just clean and pretty and then clutter up the walls with a ton of art. That, that sounds good. I like that. But everything else is clean and no, no clutter around. That's how I'd want to do it. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I think I'm going to start on this one up here and then we'll just kind of crisscross till we get down here. And go back up and down here. We're almost done. Almost done with uh, this little rug thingy at the bottom here. It's cute. You could do a whole quilt like this, I think, and it'd be awfully sweet. Like quilt a whole quilt. I'm gonna weave in the end when I'm done again, I think, instead of right now. Oh, pottery too. So I, I, I really like that too. We, every once in a while, um, we'll collect like little mugs and stuff, but it would be fun. I would love to start, um, yeah, collecting more pottery. Like I'm, I'm gonna go all the way down and then we'll jump. It's easier to just go straight. But yeah, that would be fun. I would love to take some more pottery classes. It just, you know, and it just makes me want to make more art is, is what seeing all that art and having art around. It just makes me think, oh, I should try painting again or, or we should do an art day or something, you know. And anything that can make me feel like I should get doing that stuff again, hopefully then finally we do do it, <laughs> you know. Uh, Good motivators having having that stuff around, I think. And like I said, it to me it represents like the current state of the state of how we're feeling. And uh, you know, I'll always be able to reference that, you know, in the future, like, oh yeah, you know, we got that that at the time that we were doing this and that, and you know, it felt like we we're you know, just has these ideas in it, and I think that's good. It means this to us, and I like it. All right, one more up and down, and then I gotta remember to get this little lone cross there. Ooh, do I keep going off of the, um, Sorry if I'm, I keep going off of screen here. I'll try and glance up a little bit more often. Hopefully we're going okay yet, you guys. It, my my uh, Facebook Live here is saying that we have like low connectivity right now. So Facebook's been weird for the past few days. I don't know if you guys have noticed that like it went like completely down one day and it's been just, I don't know, super weird lately. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are still there. If it keeps staying uh, low network connection, we might just have to call it. We'll finish up. I think that might be what we have to do. So I'll weave in these ends and we'll see if you guys are still there. I don't see any comments going up anymore, so I have a hunch that we might be frozen. So YouTube people, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll probably end it real soon here. YouTube people will see um, me weaving the ends. But hey, this is looking awfully cute, I think. Got our two little bits down. It'll be nice once we have all the uh, blue, the water soluble stuff gone too. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna weave in these ends quick and I think we'll call it at that. All right, there 
There's one. So I'll probably work on this same um, deal tomorrow. So we'll we'll stitch the background, the background uh, like the the um, zigzag lines of like this carpet, and then or this, I suppose this is a cat laying on a quilt. So <laughs> of the, the quilt lines, the seam lines, and I think we'll be able to start the kitty as well. Little Chad, little Chad, the kitty cat. All right, there we are. So here we are for tonight, guys. I know, I think we froze, but uh, if you're on YouTube, there we are. We got a little sweet kitty going. This is really fun though. I could see him doing like a whole quilt, uh, just just like a, just even like a white quilt, all white and just going up and down with some embroidery floss like that. I think that'd be really, really fun. I kind of love that idea. A quilt, a whole quilt with these little pluses. All right guys, I'm going to call it quits here. I'll flip you around just to say hi, but I think Facebook peeps, I think you might not be here anymore. All right. So, oh, there's that painting back there. That's the, the one that we got from the art sale a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, so once we get the new one in, I'll try and try and show you. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'll at least take a photo of it um, to show you guys, but it is, it's large. <laughs> All right, so thanks again for joining me. Sorry, uh, I think Facebook, you guys, I think you guys are gone, but uh, uh, thanks YouTube people for being here as well. Uh, here's the little kitty. Oh yeah, the little check area is cute. Uh, so we'll work on this tomorrow, so no worries. Hopefully the connection is better then, and uh, then we'll uh, get farther on this. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time on the Penguin and Fish page. Good night.